Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, you are currently in the midst of a series of videos um, I'm calling Ask Amber. And this is basically where I answer questions that I've been asked by artists, whether they're my students from online or in-person training, um, artists that I'm mentoring, or people who have reached out to me by email or on social media or here on YouTube with questions. And I basically just share those with you and um, answer here on video with hopes that it helps you if you have the same question, or maybe there are some questions here that you didn't even know you had that you um, will learn from in my responses. So with that being said, let's jump in with today's question. Um, this came through from one of the students that took one of my classes. Um, she said she's been really working on keeping her handle angle at 90 degrees and her stretch, which if you've been watching me for a while, you know those are huge components to success for good results. Um, so she's still not seeing nice crisp lines like she wants. How many clients would you say it took before you started seeing real progress with this? I see myself struggling with zone two and three, which would be the middle and the tail of the brow. With my stretch, because I'm trying not to touch the brow while I stretch, my glove gets covered in ink because I'm putting my pointer finger on the brow the further along I go. Is that normal placement and where do you try to keep your fingers? So this was a great question or series of questions. And um, I totally remember feeling like this and just kind of feeling lost. And I didn't even have the words to put together for it because I didn't know this stuff from training. So if you've been feeling like this too, um, I can totally help. So for the artist who asked this question, First of all, good job keeping your handle at 90 degrees. That's step one. So as always, you wanna keep that handle um, about 90 degrees or kind of perpendicular to your uh, to the skin. Um, as long as you're working on it, you're making good progress. But to improve, I feel like, uh, let's start with your first question. How many clients would you say it took before you started seeing real progress? I would say that about 20 clients in, I started to feel like I at least wasn't completely lost with every step. There were a few things that I might struggle with, but I wasn't totally like sweating and like about to cry every time somebody came in the door. Um, I would say about 50 sessions, so not necessarily 50 clients, but 50 sessions, including touch-ups. That was around the point where I hit like, okay, I feel like the handle angle, the flow, the pattern, everything's kind of starting to click. Um, so I can't say that that's true for everybody, but for the artists who work at Brow and V and a lot of the artists I've trained, a lot of people um, would agree with that. So somewhere around there, the tricky part is you can't quit before you get there, right? So if you are struggling and you're newer, you have to keep going so that you can get out of the uh, severely uncomfortable phase and get comfortable. So about 50 clients. Um, but moving on to the rest of your question, um, proper finger position. Um, and my understanding right here is that she's struggling with stretch because she's trying not to ruin her outline and spreading everywhere and kind of figuring out where to put her fingers. So stretch is extremely important. Um, what I would say is if you are struggling with making a mess with the ink, remember it's okay to be messy. As long as your strokes are precise, which they will be because the blade is very small, um, it's okay if your ink gets everywhere. I'm presuming that the concern is that you are going to make a mess of your brow outline and the ink is going to make it hard for you to determine what to do with your pattern. And if that is the case, what their solution for that is to practice more, at least two hours a week of pattern practice alone. And that is so that you can get to the point where it is so automated and it is all muscle memory so that you don't have to see zone one to know what to do in zone two, or you don't need to see the third stroke to know what to do with the fourth one because you could almost do it with your eyes closed. When you get so good at that pattern, um, from repetition um, that you no longer need to see the strokes you did before, you can anticipate what the next stroke should be based on the position of the brow that you're in, then this issue completely goes away and you can put your fingers wherever you need to to get a good stretch um, so that you can have great results and if it makes a mess, it makes a mess. Um, one final tip that I'll offer you to answer this question is make sure that when you are dipping your blade in ink, you're only getting just enough um, to cover the tips, uh, the bottom of the needles, the sharp part. Um, if you're getting any more on the sides of the needles or up onto the casing of your microblading um, handle that's holding the needles together, you're just making a mess and it's not gonna help you get great results. So less ink is better, just enough to get that stroke together. Even if you have to dip every single stroke, your um, brows will be cleaner and it'll be easier for you to see. So I hope that that question was really um, helpful to you. Let me know if you have more follow-up questions to that. If you have questions about this in the comments, go ahead and drop them below and I will answer them and if you guys like seeing content like this please let me know um, I would love to create a space where you can ask even more questions like this um, if this is good content for you so I will see you guys in the next video